Hey guys, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing video of the Lionel Laser Train set. So let's get started. So if you guys watched my York recap video, you would have saw this set in the video. I got this at York, and I mainly got it because it was at a good price, and because I saw this growing up as a kid. TM Books and Videos always showed this on, uh, on their videos. They showed the Lionel commercial for it. And it was always such a cool commercial to me with um, the very cool glow-in-the-dark features about this set and the fact that the train set had a very shiny paint job to it. And because it's just a space set. Uh, I've always thought space sets were cool and that's why I have a post-war space set. But this was just a low-end set and I just always saw it, thought it was cool. So I picked it up and now let's go look at what it has to offer on the inside. So upon opening the box you find many items including the cars, the engine, the playmat, the decals and the track, and the transformer. So let's look, look at each item individually and then I'll set it all up and run it around for a little. The first engine in this set is this diesel switcher. And as you can see it has a very great shiny paint job and it's reflecting. You can even see me in the background. Uh, but it's real nice. It has great laser decals on the side. And here's another decal with the road number 8161. Uh, it has a front headlight and a backup light, but both lights are on when you're running this engine. It has couplers on both ends, except they are not operating because they are plastic. And this is powered by a DC motor. And the way to uh, siphon it from forward to neutral to reverse is on the transformer. It does not have an E-unit. But it is a, a nice engine in the set and I love the shiny paint job. So let's go look at the other cars in the set and the accessories that come with this set. Here's the first freight car in the set. This is a flat car with a helicopter on it. Uh, by the way, all of these flat cars have this nice laser logo on it. And uh, the helicopter does come off the car. It just pops down into those little holes as you see. And it's just a little helicopter that you can play with. The blade does spin, which is nice, but it does not, uh, it's not powered or anything. You just uh, have to use your imagination. But it's nice, and you can then pop it back on to the flat car. And the flat car is nice. Uh, it uh, has uh, well, actually one operating coupler on it. As you can see, this is an operating coupler. Except what's strange is then on the other end, it has a uh, plastic coupler that does not operate. I'm guessing that was just to save cost or something, but uh, this is still a nice car, and uh, it adds some play value to the set. So now let's move on to the next car in the set. The next freight car in the set is this flat car with a rocket on top. The rocket can be removed to be played with, and, it ha and the flat car also has these nice brackets to keep the rocket on it. But this is a nice rocket. It... Uh, these blades on the side can be removed and these can be pushed in as well and it's just uh, add some play value and then the rocket can have these decals applied uh, that just add some a face to it and some logos the USAF and it just adds some logos to it and there's a picture of that on the box if you'd like to do that but personally I'm going to leave these off for just keeping the set um, fairly new I just don't want to put them on so, uh, yeah, but this is a cool car, and it has some nice play value as well. So now let's move on to the next car in the set. The next car in the set is this operating radar car. And what I mean by that is when I roll this car back and forth, if you watch the blade on the back, it does spin. And the way that operates is on the bottom. If you can see, there's this rubber band here and this wheel. And when, it, and when the wheels spin, it turns that wheel and the rubber band so then it then turns the radar on top so that's pretty cool and this is like the other flat cars with one operating coupler and the other one being static but it's a cool car and it adds some nice operating uh, effect to the set so now let's move on to the other cars in the set the final freight car in the set is the caboose this is a space caboose similar to the ones made in the post-war era it has this atomic capsule on the front that says danger on it. It has the very nicely painted uh, cab, which is shiny like the engine, and has the same laser decal. 
Then on the top there is this spinning uh, gun that adds some more play value to the set. And just uh, to note, as I said before, I've probably said this many times, but this set has a lot of play value. And that's what's nice about it. It brings back some uh, play value that the old Lionel post-war sets had. And that's what I like about this set. Uh, yeah, but this was the final car, so now let's move on to the track and the accessories that came with this set. So here's what's left of the set. Uh, here we see the DC power pack for the set and the wires that go with that. Uh, in front of that is the track. It, uh, there's enough track to make an oval, so there's uh, four straights, and then I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, curves. I couldn't quite remember what it took to make an 027 uh, loop. But, and then there's also the lock-on for the track to give it power. There's also your manuals, and here's a line-out catalog that came with the set. That's pretty cool, and the warranty for the set. And then the final thing which is pretty cool about the set is it comes with this playmat. Uh, it, it does glow in the dark, but currently it's light out, so I can't, uh, I can't uh, do the glow in the dark feature. But maybe in another video I can show you that. But this has never been uh, touched, and it's never been cut out. When I, uh, what it says is that you trim off, as it says here, you trim off the, this white border, but I do not think I'm going to do that. Uh, just like I said with the decals to keep this set original. But, uh, this is what's left of the set, and now I'm going to set it up for you and then run it around for a little. So here's the set put together. The playmat is very cool looking. It has designations for where, for where to put things, such as the controller here the helicopter over here, the launch pad is in the center for where you'd launch the rocket, and then over behind the rocket car there is a place for you to set the trains when you're not running them. So it's pretty cool, and now I will run it for you. Okay, that about wraps it up for this unboxing video of the Lionel Laser Train set. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos, and as always, like, subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications. Comment down below, tell others about the channel, and also follow me on Instagram at Sid's Trains. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.